sink beneath the clear waters of the Great Barrier Reef in Northeast Australia, and you'll find paradise. A place teeming with life. Life of an unbelievable variety. that look like plants, fish that look like flowers. But there's a mystery here, and that mystery has a name. It's the crown of thorns, a sea star. A creature that is turning the reef into a wasteland of coral rubble. Armies of these creatures are moving silently across the reef, devouring it as they go. It's a mystery why they're here in such numbers, and no one knows how to stop them. Tourists arrive every day in Cairns, the tourist capital of the hot, wet tropics of Northern Australia. They come from Asia, Europe, the United States, a million of them every year. They come to see if the tourist slogan, beautiful one day, perfect the next, is true. Most of all, what they come to see is in the ocean. An underwater spectacular. A continent of coral called the Great Barrier Reef. Australia's Great Barrier Reef runs for 1,500 miles along the coast of the state of Queensland. That's about the distance from New York to Los Angeles. It's the world's largest reef, half the size of Texas, and it's most complex. It's also the largest living structure on Earth, so big it can be seen from space. Though it's referred to as the reef, it's made up of smaller, individual reefs, over 2,900 of them. They make up the main barrier that stops the mighty waves of the Pacific Ocean. More than 600 islands closer inshore have their own fringing reefs. Together, these reefs make up the world's most spectacular natural aquarium, a place of total wonder. So spectacular, the tourists come in hundreds of thousands to see it. And that means a lot of dollars to tourist operators in North Queensland. What tourists come to see are these towering undersea cities of limestone, calcium carbonate formed by sea creatures that secrete lime, creatures like algae or these coral polyps. 